So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I welcome all of you in my today's video. And today we are going to discuss about the the X-rays and the and the relevant CTs. This lecture is limited only to the X-rays of the real patients in ward. And you uh, you will enjoy inshallah this lecture. So this X-ray, what do you see? What abnormality do you see in this X-ray? So if you focus, there is complete white out of the right lung and the trachea is shifted toward the right can you see this trachea so so complete white out of the lung with the shifting of the trachea to the same side is point number one lung collapse point number two previous lung surgery when you remove the lung the trachea moves epsilaterally so we are having two different differential for this x-ray point number one either this is a pneumectomy Point number two, uh, this is a, a lung collapse. In the lung collapse, if you see the trachea, there is a smooth deviation, not a, not a deviation like this. This is called hooking of the trachea. And the hooking of the trachea we see in two things, fibrosis, previous pneumectomy. So it looks more like previous pneumectomy. But you have to keep two differential in mind with this X-ray, lung collapse and previous pneumectomy. Now it depends upon the history if the patient is saying I was operated previously for this so you should think of pneumectomy but if there is no previous history you should go for the CT scan in order to diagnose what is the cause what what is is uh, to confirm either it is lung collapse or it is a previous pneumectomy or to confirm what is the cause of collapse <clears throat> Moving next so what do you see in this x-ray now this x-ray is very typical if you see this side and compare this with that side can you see any lung marking on the left side lung marking on this side no lung marking over here and lung marking on the right side so what do you think what do you think is the call is the diagnosis of this x-ray no lung marking on the left marking on the right side this is a pneumothorax on the left side pneumothorax on the left side with a slight pushing of the trachea toward the right pneumothorax regarding the pneumothorax i will deliver a lecture on it what is the first thing to do what is the second thing to do what is the third thing to do when well, you have to find out the cause whether it is primary or secondary coming next what do you see in this x-ray can you see this thing the air fluid levels the air fluid level in the periphery in the right and there is if you think this is a pneumothorax the air was supposed to come like that and it was supposed to occupy from the top the air is lighter it moves upward and it occupy the top if you say this is hydropneumothorax if you say this is hydropneumothorax again the air would come above the lung and if you are directly passing the tube without confirmation you are doing blunder so in this type of x-ray you must go for the ct and in the ct what is can you appreciate this thing this thing this is the same thing we see in the previous x-ray this thing this thing this is the localized area with air fluid level so this was the not pneumothorax it was not pneumothorax it was a localized thing so tooth differential lung epsis or empyema lung epsis empyema lung epsis empyema how to differentiate between the two ct with contrast ct chest with contrast ct chest with contrast ct chest with contrast the pleura will take the, the the pleura will take the contrast if the pleura is taking the contrast so it will clear the picture that this thing that this thing is what on the periphery it is the visceral pleura or it is the wall of the cavity so we are not sure just on the cg scan without contrast whether <coughs> it is lung epsis or empyema especially when the thing is lying in the periphery so the first thing you come in your mind is empyema so this was a case of empyema lung coming toward next now what abnormality do you see 
in this x-ray this is a very important x-ray and this patient comes to the <coughs> emergency department with the high grade fever and tlc of uh, 30000 so what comes in your mind with the cough pneumonia but there is a bulky hilum can you see left bulky hilum but if you see the ct where is the problem lies in the hilum in the hilum this is the city of the same patient can you appreciate the opacity this is the opacity this is the opacity these are the infiltrates these are the infiltrates these so it mean and the chest x-ray you are seeing something in the hilum but if you are seeing something in the hilum that is not always the case there may be the case that the opacity lies behind the hilum you see this opacity and the x-ray x-ray is the uh, two dimension conversion of the three dimension in ct give clears the picture x-ray is the two dimension conversion of three dimension so the, so if this is the hilum and this is the back of the hilum so what happened if you have opacity at the back of the hilum the x-ray will show you at the level of the hilum and this is the typical example if something suppose this is the, my two hands these are the hilas and this is the back of the hyla if you are having opacity at the back of the hilum the x-ray will show you that the opacity lies at the hilum this is the problem with the x-ray it does not clearly defines but it gives you a clue a suspicion if you go for the lateral chest x-ray that will clear again the things that the opacity lies at the back of the chest or in, uh, or the front of the chest so this was the typical example of a pneumonia uh, with the focus lying at the back of the chest uh, confirmed with the ct and the uh, x-ray was showing uh, the left bulky hilum so you must think of these things and the patient was bronchial breathing at the at the back again the same x-ray left bulky hilum this opacity is lying in the periphery at the back of the lung now this is very important you see there is no lung marking in this side but there are lung markings above there are lung marking on this whole side this x-ray was wrongly labeled as right pneumothorax this this patient was a case of uh, copd uh, he was a heavy smoker and having a history of cough for the last two years so this was the clinically suspected copd later on confirmed with with the investigation but this was the giant bulla it was not pneumothorax now the problem is if if you if you pass the tube or needle thinking of this giant bulla as a pneumothorax you are actually causing pneumothorax that is called iatrogenic pneumothorax must differentiate between the bulla and pneumothorax so this was the giant bulla confirmed later on with the ct now this x-ray is very important this was a 70 years old baba and he was a heavy smoker this is the x-ray of the same baba one week back and he comes one week later with this x-ray can you appreciate any change x-ray chest one week back x-ray chest one week after and the complaint was central chest pain central chest pain can you appreciate these things here now focus on the previous x-ray no air here a new momediastinum <coughs> later on confirm there was a rupture of esophagus this was a case of new momediastinum so uh, uh, an x-ray diagnosis on the on just x-ray is a challenging you must study the x-ray in the background of the uh, of the history what is the history now this patient was having no cough no 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 fever no, uh, tlc count normal but having central chest pain so you have to look for the center and the center is very clear and the center has this this air and this this blackness this is air and this was not supposed to be there and there is no air in this case and in this case coming toward the next pneumomediastinum now if you if you focus on this x-ray what do you see left side air fluid level and you think of there is something lying in the left lower zone maybe lung abscess maybe empyema maybe hydronium whatever is the the thing the ct scan will clear it but 
lung marking option on the right side so it, by later problem coming next to you CT will show you CT will clear the picture now before going to CT can you appreciate any change in these two x-ray and can you see this is a tube there is the tube tube insertion so the lung was lying over here the lung was collapsed completely and uh, when you pass the tube here you can see lung markings are reversed the lung is expanded after the passing of the tube the lung expands compare the both again no lung marking can you see any lung mark on the right side any whiteness no the reticular pattern no tube is passed let's come toward the next here lung lung is expanded and i want you to clear your concept and this the lung markings so this was a case of right hydronumotus with left empyema now the purpose of this x-ray is to clear the concept regarding the volume loss now if you focus on this x-ray on the left side there is volume loss of the lung volume of the lung is lost on the right side there is a little hyperinflation with the cystic changes can you see cystic changes small cystic changes there are small cysts and the volume of the lung is lost especially in the left lower zone over here and also the whole volume is decreased so think of max max pathology fibrosis with air trapping fibrosis with air trapping fibrosis with air trapping so which disease we can see both in which disease we can see both hypersensitivity pneumonitis and uh, when i will be coming toward the uh, pathological manifestation and i will make video on each of them i will then explain how hypersensitivity uh, causes this pathology and it affects upper lobe or the, or, or the lower lobe uh, and the x-ray we can say or on the ct you can you can identify the things uh, clearly by just localizing where is the problem where is the problem so volume loss on the left with cystic changes on the right and air trapping on the right side again the same x-ray now this is the air the ct scan of the same patient now if you see volume loss on the left side of the lung and these are the small cysts these are the cysts right now do not confuse yourself with the ct for ct finding i will make another video on that but this is just to give you in an idea of how we interpret the x-ray now what do you see in this x-ray can you can you appreciate this thing so you are having this effusion and you are having this is plural thickening this is plural thickening plural is thickened now we have to confirm this on ct so this patient having weight loss uh, loss of appetite and the patient was having uh, anorexia for the last 10 years uh, and shortness of breath and she, she, was, she was not maintaining the sats coming toward the next ct again the same x-ray of the same patient this is the plural thickening and this is that effusion and this is infiltrates now CT of the same patient so what do you see in this CT focus on this this thing this is plural thickening now why this is not plural effusion this is this is plural thickening this is not plural effusion in plural effusion if you see the borders will be smooth smooth border if you see here over here the borders are like this moving upward then down on moving upward this is not plural effusion this is plural thickening this is plural thickening plural thickening again coming downward here you see this is plural thickening plural thickening plural thickening plural thickening biopsy confirmed it was a mesothelioma biopsy confirmed it was a mesothelioma so may see of plural effusion may or may not be present this was a case of mesothelioma again the same 
CT but with a little more focus so this is pleural thickening what is the most common cause other common cause of pleural thickening apart from mesothelioma TB TB causes pleural thickening can you see, can you appreciate this opacity in the periphery let's come confirm this on CT now this is this is their thing and what is the best next step CT guided biopsy because it lies in the periphery and what is its cause adenocarcinoma peripheral lying mass in the central central squamous cell carcinoma and small cell carcinoma they cause central lesion again the peripheral mass this patient was having <coughs> TB seven years back and was treated for TB patient came with the clubbing and there was crap crept in the left lower zone can you see this these thick wall cysts bronchiectasis left lower zone bronchiectasis bronchiectasis post TB bronchiectasis this patient came with the progressive shortness of breath for the last six months initially it was exertional now it occurs at rest sets of 86 percent at room air patient was clubbed in central cyanosis what is your diagnosis IPF IPF <coughs> idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis of uh, most common cause of ILD now in this x-ray what do you see can you appreciate these reticular changes there are reticular changes with volume of the lung lost bilaterally and the trachea is slightly pushed toward the right <coughs> so what do you think interstitial lung disease fibrosis so you cannot say directly on this what which type of fibrosis until and unless it is very advanced form as we discussed in the previous x-ray or the history is very clear so you have to consider two things uh, if the history is acute and there was no lung volume loss and there are reticular nodular pattern think of uh, uh, atypical pneumonia but if there is volume loss and the history is very long think of ILD so the CT will clear the picture now this <coughs> I think we will discuss more CT in the next video. So, thank you.